So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's based off a comic book series called The Men in Black. Okay. And so we're gonna start with a van of illegal immigrants being stopped by the cops and then having these two men in black show up. Hey, that's the name of the thing! It sure is, and so they tell the cops, hey, we're from Division 6 and we need to take one of these illegal aliens. And the cops let them? Yeah, but after the men in black leave, the cops are like, there is no Division 6, this is BS. So why did they even let them take the guy? I don't know. Fair enough. So then it's gonna turn out out that this illegal alien was actually an illegal alien disguised as an illegal alien. Right, okay. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah, I get it. There's a double meaning. Yeah, yeah, pretty straightforward, but why would he even disguise himself as that? Well, because he's trying to sneak into the United States. Then wouldn't it make more sense for him to disguise himself as an American? Well, yeah, but then I wouldn't get to make that super clever illegal alien joke. Oh, okay, gotcha. You really like that joke. So anyway, then one of the cops sees the alien because the men in black only took it like 10 feet away and that sends it into a murderous rage. Why? Because I want the situation where the men in black shoot the alien and the cop gets covered in slimy goo. Did you say slimy goo? I did. Oh, slimy goo is tight. That's the funniest thing you could cover someone with. Well, I'm glad you said that because we're going to have a ton of slimy goo in this movie. It's going to be the main gag in a shocking number of scenes. Hell yeah, that automatically makes scenes funny. It sure does. So we're going to have slimy goo splashing all over the place every chance we get throughout this whole thing. That's not going to get old at all. I know. Wow. Anyway, so then because the older agent was slow to draw his gun, he's gonna retire. Oh, he is? Yeah, and so the younger agent, K, is gonna use this neuralizer thing to wipe his memory. When they get back home from the desert? No, right then and there. That's super inconsiderate, but okay. And so then the main character is this New York cop, James, who's being considered as the replacement for that old guy. Why is he being considered? Because he chased down a bad guy who turned out to be an alien. Why was he chasing him? We'll never find out, but he turned out to be an alien. Did he know that he was an alien? alien when he started chasing him? No, but he chased him down for a very long time. So a police officer just doing his job was enough to get him considered for the men in black? Apparently so, sir. So then James enters this testing period where all the other candidates are like super serious military types. Oh man, I imagine it's gonna be tough for a New York cop to be chosen for a secret government organization. Actually, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh really? Yeah, he does two tests and shows that he can think outside the box and that's all they needed to see. So what are the tests? Well, in the first test, they had to fill out these papers inside these weird egg chairs, and James went and grabbed the table. Right, okay. And the second one is this shooting range thing, and all the other candidates are shooting the aliens, but James is the only one that shoots a little girl in the face. What? Yeah, he's like, this little girl is in a bad part of town, and she's holding books that are way too advanced for her, so, you know, he shoots her in the face. And that was the right thing to do? Yeah, she has no business carrying those advanced books around. They could have been her older sister's books or something. Well, the men in black are looking for someone that would shoot a little girl in the face for something like that. And those are the two tests, the table and the child killing? That's it. Wow, it feels like they should definitely have their agents go through more rigorous testing than that. Yeah, you'd think so, but that's literally all they need to see. Well, okay then. So then James is gonna become one of the men in black. Wow. Yeah, they show him around the office and they slowly erase every letter from his name except the first one. Very dramatic use of the delete key. Yeah, and then he touches this ball that bounces around the office and destroys a bunch of stuff. Why would they leave a dangerous ball like that just lying out in the open? So we could have some slapstick comedy, sir. Oh, the characters left that out for us. That's very nice of them. Sure is, sir. And so what did J and K have to go up against in the movie? Well, there's this bug alien that's wearing a dead farmer's skin and going on a sugar-fueled rampage. And what's he trying to do? He's trying to get his hands on a marble that's actually a galaxy. Okay. Yeah, so he goes into this diner and he easily kills these two aliens with a little stinger thing he has. Oh, my lord. Yeah, and it turns out one of the aliens he killed was actually the emperor of this alien race called the Aquilians. Gotcha. And the emperor had this cat that had the galaxy on his collar, and so obviously the cat is brought along with the alien's corpse to the morgue. Of course, they always bring dead people's pets to the morgue along with their corpses. Right, and so then the bug alien goes to the morgue and threatens the mortician, this lady named Laurel. Her name is Yanni? That's kind of weird. No, it's Laurel. Right, Yanni, that's what I said. Anyway, so then the Aquilians threaten to blow up the planet if the men in black can't deliver the galaxy within an hour. Wow, so I imagine the men in black send out all their men to try to save the day? Nope, literally just the two main characters, one of which is in training. Oh, you'd kind of think they'd put more resources on something like that. Yeah, you'd think so. So how did J and K find out about all this stuff? Well, they go visit the exposition pug. The exposition pug? Yeah, it's this little pug that K shakes until it shouts out all the exposition we need to move the movie forward. Well, that pug sounds like a screenwriter's best friend. It sure is. So then the bug tries to escape on a ship, but the men in black shoot it down. Okay. Yeah, and so they're like, 
like, put your hands on your head. And he's like, okay, but then he slowly rips off the farmer's skin and reveals that he's a super big cockroach monster. Why hasn't he already taken off his human skin if he's trying to escape? So we can have this big reveal. And why didn't J and K shoot him as he was taking the skin off? So we can have this big reveal. Well, okay. So then the bug swallows their guns and K gets intentionally eaten. Does the bug not have teeth? Oh yeah, it has massive teeth, but apparently those are just for show because it swallows K whole. Pretty lucky. Yeah, and so then K shoots the bug from the inside and they save the day. Wow. And then K reveals that he wasn't actually training J as a partner, but as a replacement. Wait, what? Yeah, pretty cool, right? So now after like two days on the job, J has to find and train a new partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it have made more sense for K to train two people instead of just J? Oh yeah, I guess that would have made a lot more sense. Whoops. Whoopsie, so what do you think of the movie? Well, it sounds like a lot of fun and we should totally get Will Smith to play in this. Oh yeah, people really liked watching him punch aliens in Independence Day. We could totally cash in on that. Yeah, and plus we can get him to make like a theme song. Right, he can literally just rap about things from the movie. Right, he can be like, here's an audio commercial for my movie. Woo, ha ha. If people don't realize that's just a commercial, that's gonna be a number one hit. Definitely, and Will Smith is gonna become synonymous with the men in black. Yeah, we're gonna have to make sure to get him for any sequels and spinoffs moving forward. For sure. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. If you did, let me know in the comments section what other movies you'd like to see pitches for. We also have a lot more of these videos on the channel. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment and share on Facebook and Twitter. Just start hitting all the buttons, except hopefully dislike. And as always, check back soon for a new pitch meeting. Bye-bye.